So this is very new. Um, I, I just wrote it last weekend when I was going through some stuff. And as we all know, poetry can be self-healing. So this is my self-healing poem. It don't have no name. <laughs> <clears throat> Look at these hands, lean and strong. See how they are scarred and rough. See how everything they've touched is now in pieces. See how everything these long fingers wrap themselves around end up broken or slightly damaged and bruised. Look at these hands, how they use and abuse. See the lines indented in this palm and read the stories they trailed from. <clears throat> in the beginning, they were small and soft, reaching for a mother's love like a blanket in the cold winter. But mommy could never protect us with her own hands, so nights were always freezing and bitter. In the beginning, they were gentle, holding father's hand and trusting him to lead the way. But he took me to the deepest, darkest places and showed me how to hold the person you love so tightly and with such force they are bound to break. Look at these hands. See how they strangle. Any chance for real love is suffocating, gasping for air. I don't know what love is. I remember it vividly. The first time daddy showed me how to love and the blood my mother shed while she accepted it. And I remember how it felt to not be able to use my then tiny hands to defend her. She called for my help, told me to run. And if for that instance, I only had a gun, I swear to you, that man, my father would have died that night by my hands. Is that what love is? These two hands now all grown up wear self-inflicted scars, bones that were bent and never mended, a promise ring, ironically, to stir up memories of infidelity and a trail of broken promises. I remember the first time these hands gripped the blade and slid across my wrist-breaking skin. I remember the struggle and every losing battle to the demons within. I remember what it felt like to cut myself down and then pick up the bloody shards one by one, piercing my fingertips. Is that what love is? These hands that envy the caged bird and its ability to sing. Every day I live in chaos with these hands that somehow manage to destroy everything. I grew with a wounded voice and learned to keep the songs of pain to myself because they never made me feel free. In some ways I'm still trapped in the darkness silently watching mommy and daddy make what I thought was love. And now I have become the nightmare. Cursed with my father's hands, these demons are my inheritance and they whisper louder than any prayer. They tell me I don't deserve to live. And sometimes I believe them. With a not so green thumb, these hands plant seeds that are crushed before they can multiply. These hands consistently thwart any possibility of normalcy in this fragile life. Look at these hands. Look at me. Scooping up the pieces of a broken home, fighting the demons oh so quietly. I will chop these hands off if I have to. I don't want to break the things I love anymore. Daddy, I'll die if I end up just like you. Thank you. So new stuff that I don't have to read off my phone because I don't like to do that. I feel like I like to connect more with, you know, everyone who's listening. So this is um one of my very first poems that I'm very proud of. I wrote it when I was young, and it, you know, it, it, you can sense that it's kind of on the immature side. I don't care. It's a classic. It's called, <laughs> it's called the Land of the Youth. <laughs> we are told mistakes by our elders, painful memories Daddy don't want for me. How dare they forget once dancing at our place. Liquor burning, bodies writhing, soft whispers, loud moaning. To be young is to be free. The land of the youth, the land of the youth. We are living in the land of the youth. It's an old man's utopia he can only wish to see again. Utopia, the escape we hungrily embrace as the rush makes its way from the nostrils straight to the sky past that spliff so I can keep this high. It is clear I've had my fill, but I am still ever so careful not to spill a drop of this drink. More alcohol I could never refuse. I'm living in the land of the youth. Worried and aging souls shed tears for us. 
praying on tired, creaking knees for our salvation. Jesus will return, they say, to rupture this blasphemous nation. But what my Christian mama can't see is my piss reeks with the scent of Hennessy. And I'll only ever pop a purple ecstasy. You see, her message falls on a deaf man's ears and narcotics are placed out in the deepest fears. I live a life without limitation, liberated from suffocation, rules, norms, regulations. I'm living in the land of the youth. The land of the youth, the land of the youth. I'm living in the land of the youth. So what's another shot? Sniff some shit? Why not? Let's dance forever and never stop. As long as someone rolls a blunt, because I gotta have my pot. I'm living in the land of the youth. Thank you. Keep going. All right. <laughs> All right, so this next one is kind of like um, the flip side, the parallel of the land of the youth. I wrote it when I was a little more mature and I was thinking maybe we shouldn't do so much drug. You know what I mean? <laughs> so um, this is called Fuel for the Fire. <laughs> We love to dance in flames, to feel the lick of the fire, drink more than our fill and smoke to get higher, escape from our problems is what we desire. But what will we pay when this precious life is draining away and the cost is oh so dire? Drink your sorrows and swallow the pain, intoxicate with vodka, self-medicate with rum, to forget who you are tonight and ask yourself tomorrow if you like what you've become. And that's only if only you remember what you've done. This is Satan's world and he'll hand you the bottle and watch you speed to your death full throttle. Keep going, you're on a roll. A complete disaster, but he's running the show. There is nothing worse than the illusion of control. We love to dance in flames just to feel the heat, just to feel at all. So we overdose on what we know is good cushion alcohol and tell ourselves we're gonna go out and ball, but there is no hope for you in that bottle. Your sins are stains the liquor cannot wash away. Blackouts don't work the same as whiteout when you put them on your mistakes. You can turn the lights out, but the problems are still there. They aren't completely erased. Even after straight shots after shots, you make sure not to chase. Shots, shots, shots after shots, shots, shots. Everybody go ahead and keep on thinking the party will never stop. Test your limits. Drink until the anguish in you begins to churn. We love to fill ourselves with flammable liquid, then dance in the fire just to feel that slow burn, just looking for anything at all that will satisfy this yearn. Keep searching for happiness in that bottle. One day you will reach the bottom. One day you will learn. Whoa. Thank you. Um, this is another, I would say, classic of mine, <laughs> um, and I really like it, and it's cool. It's called Girl Problems, so. uh, and y'all could feel free to sing along, because it's going to get repetitive with the, you could say, chorus, so um, help me out. Girl problems, girl problems, yeah, 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 we got girl problems, girl problems, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking at you, staring at me, and I start blinking rapidly. You love my eyes. You don't see how they can detect the lust and the thirst right under the smile. You don't see how these beautiful eyes can no longer cry. See, as a woman, I've had trials and tribulations, been raped and sold to the world, judged by what I wear, classified after only physical observations have been made. Yes, I'm blinking, and I'm cute, but you'd prefer if I was mute. Cause you don't wanna hear what I gotta say, I'm just a chicken, it's a man's world at the end of the day. Girl problems, girl problems, yeah, yeah, yeah. Girl problems, girl problems, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, the reason I'm blinking so frequently and sensually it's because my eyelashes have been coated and pulled, curled upwards to complement my almond-shaped peepers, and they are extremely heavy. And sometimes, sorry, and sometimes the eyeliner cakes up, and so that day I won't wear any makeup. But the mirror says I'm too plain, and society says I'm too skinny. A few years ago I was too thick, now I'm chasing dreams of being a bad bitch. 
learning how to play on my own insecurities because of what the media constantly depicts. These are girl problems, girl problems, yeah, yeah. Girl problems, girl problems, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the 60s, they wanted a silent housewife. Today, I better make my own money if I want to take the role of wifey. The standards for women has changed, but the sexist mentality has remained the same. We are still treated as toys, lesser beings, property, or things. But not all of us are ditzy and distracted by shiny diamond rings. Not all of us are content in being lied to and abused by the same knight in shining armor who's supposed to save you. No, some of us are stronger, but we all got issues. We got girl problems. Girl problems, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody, girl, girl problems. problems, girl problems, yeah, yeah, yeah. And what's the most amazing is I relate to the fellas too. Yes, I chase pussy too. In the pursuit of her juicy fruit, I spend money, I spend time, and an extravagant gesture go the length of the mile for a woman I take any measure. And when she lets me in beneath and between the warmth of her soft skin, I'll make sure she is pleasured. I love the sense of a woman and its sweet tickle in my nose sneeze. I take my time cause she's classy, but I sneak between her knees with a lesbian's ease. I'm a slave to my desires, mesmerized by the things that they do. See, they drew me in with the same spell they cast on you. And I can relate, I got boy problems too. Thank you so much, everybody. <laughs>